Beside, how the devil are you, mate? Today, huh? Today, we're gonna be looking at a little channel that I've like. I haven't reacted to for bloody ages, and I don't know why I stopped because this channel, mate, is bloody brilliant. Okay, it's called Paranormal Nightmare TV Series. Make sure you go over to their channel, subscribe, and do the thing. There's something about this channel that I really, really like. It's very, it's very humble. I would say, you know, it's very deep. That's what she said. <laughs> the video is called Paranormal Nightmare Season 9, Episode 7, Ouija Board 2. Okay? Haunted Whispers Estate. It's time to get freaky deaky. So get yourself a cup of tea, mate. Get yourself a cup of coffee or whatever. A beer. Drink responsibly. And without further ado, die diddly day. <laughs> Let's do this. Paranormal Nightmare TV series. S series TV. Paranormal Nightmare. A house so haunted is now being studied by cunning students. One man and his team are whispers of state. Oh, mate, look at that. I know I, I'm pausing it straight away, mate, but this is what I'm talking about. Why well, I just think the houses in the United States of America, baby, are so damn beautiful. Look at you! And your beauty. That snow and everything, mate, so piss picturesque. Shh. Paranormal nightmare. On this episode of Paranormal Nightmare, my brothers and I traveled to Mitchell, Indiana to investigate the infamous Whispers Estate. This house is said to be one of the most haunted locations in Indiana. We're going to come back and we're going to talk to you. And we appreciate it if you come out and talk to us. Is that okay? Yes. Downstairs. Monster. Where's the monster at that's down here? Something is behind you. Oh, Fucking hell, mate! <laughs> 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 by Dr. White and his wife, and then they sold it to Dr. John Gibbons and his wife, Jesse, and that's kind of where the whole story starts to unfold here. They were known for adopting orphan and abandoned children. A 10 year old girl named Rachel was badly burned. She came burned. into the front parlor and she bumped into a lit candle, causing her nightgown to catch fire. And oh. they said that she was blocked in the front parlor. They took her back up to her bedroom where she laid for two to three days before she actually died. Oh, I God. Seen some crazy things here with my own eyes. Apparitions to the goat man. It's been like a roller coaster. Did she say the dope man? Apparitions of the dope man. What is it? Some spirit artist going. Oh, that's good, dude. I'm I, later on. I'm gonna scare you so bad. It's gonna be like you're gonna have this like out of body experience, man. The <laughs> ride um, over the past eleven years here. I've had scratches, to to bites to. Um, whispers, whatever it was, it was that cornered us up in the seance room that was like a banshee scream and that happened over about a five minute period and, and we thought it was, it was, it backed us into a corner. And there have been several people that have been bitten. Uh, oh, shit. I have been scratched several times. I have multiple other people bitten in the house. The EVPs in here are just nonstop audible voices like all the time here. So your, your name getting called or um, getting woke up in the middle of the night or... Oh, I mean, God. Like, Imagine that, mate. Ben, wake up. Well, for him, it'd be... Ben, uh, wake up, dude. All the time here. And so, of course, that's where the, the whispers come in at. I have had Rachel uh, whisper in my ear, and she's like, hey, wake up. 
Oh, fucking I'm hell. Shutting her I'm shutting I'm fucking sleeping! And I said, good night, sweetheart. I love you. And she's like, night, night. And I was like, please tell me you caught that. And he said, no, I just shut my film off. Yeah, oh. I'm very close to Rachel, so... Uh, I've had numerous encounters with Rachel. That's... Okay, joking aside, that's really... It's really upsetting. To know that, like, there's a, 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 sp a spirit of a, a young girl going around... And obviously, she's warm to this woman. Maybe she even thinks it's her mum. I don't know. You know? But to say goodnight and stuff like that. Oh, it's, it's heartbreaking. I know there's one girl that got in here, and she got scratched 14 times before she got out of here one night. We have had people ran out of here, pushed. We have a portal in the house, so you're going to get negative with positive in here. There have been people getting bit in here. We had a cop. Uh, he got run out the front door. They wouldn't even finish clearing the house. Jesus. Something running so hard, it's just vibrating the whole second floor, and it's running towards you. You don't know whether to go out the front door or you're, you're blocked in here. It's almost like the whole front staircase or something's coming down or, or, or the, the ceiling's coming down. I don't even know how to explain that one. Jesus, mate. I tell you what, hang on. Big shout out. Big shout out to um, uh, Wendy Davies. Wendy Davies, mate. You sent me this. This is what this woman needs, mate. One of these, these, she sent me a black crystal thing to warn off the, the, the demons. Yeah. To warn, to warn off evil. All right. Thank you so much. It's a That's whole what she needs. other level of intensity because you're just blocked in especially when you're in the back of the room and, and there's no place to go. We had a girl that she was setting up in the seance room and it was, she said it had a snake-like body and it had a human-like head. It came across the room and went up her body and then it got in her face and let out a breath of air. She, of course, ran down the staircase and and she turned around to look behind her and she said it was like darkness bleeding out of the room. I have been staying here at night for the last... Right, okay. This investigation team, are you sure you want to go in here, mate? Because this could change your life for fucking forever. Are you hearing this shit? A lizard's body with a human-like face. Fucking, we got the lizard man from bloody Spider-Man here. What's, whatever his name is. Lizard? Four, going on four years now. I get knocks at the door. It's usually three knocks at the door. I hear my name called. You hear screaming. You hear giggling. You hear running. Female voices. You hear male voices. Uh, you'll get growling. Um, so it's, a, it's different things. You hear that, mate? You that stuff upstairs? I did hear it. She just yeah, don't give a fuck. There was like a thump and then like a little bit of walking maybe. I like to try to think that... What's going on? We have a respect with me. A respect with me. Fucking respect standing, me, man. I'm having an interview. Here. So... After the group leave and stuff, I usually shut like the pocket door and, and the other door, and I don't go um, up on the second floor by myself. Uh, I stay on the lower level at all times. It, it's a different this world is mental. up there. I, I like to try to stay down here. What and, the fuck? And like I said, the things that have happened to me up there probably make it a little bit you know, life-altering decision for me to stay down here, too, so, to where I don't want to go up there. Fucking right! Tell me about it, mate! What the hell am I listening to here, man? This is horrifying, just the story! Probably what I've seen up there. So I respect it. Um, and I, what has happened to me up there, so, goat man bothered me, and the Oh, goat, goat man, is it? Goat man? Fuck me, we've got dope man, we've got goat man. Fucking the goat of the dope. Uh, screaming, uh, the thing that was going to eat us that night bothered me. So, 
I mean, those two things probably changed my life more than anything here. Some of the things that I have seen in the servants' quarters and the things that have happened up there. Don't do bloody Ouija boards. Kind of life changing events for me up there to where, you know, it gives me more of a respect to stay down here and not go up there by myself because I, I know what's up there. We have a mass pit grave underneath the garage area and then reportedly four bodies buried in the back grave or backyard, which is Rachel, her brother, the mom, and the dad. So you have bodies buried in the back? Yes, and marked graves. Location tour, let's go, mate. Let's go. Jesse's chamber, this was the wife of Dr. John. She passed away in 1934 of double pneumonia. There was also a infant by the name of Sarah Elizabeth who also passed away in here of unknown causes. Mate, she needs bloody tickets on the front door, mate. This is maximum haunted. Look at you. You might be fucking laughing, mate, but you're freaky as shit. There was a little boy by the name of Gary uh, had hydrocephalus. They said his shunt malfunctioned because he had a shunt that regulated his spinal fluid. This door loves to open up on its own. When we first come up here, you, uh, I don't know if you noticed, the door was open. Um, this door will open up a lot. Um, this is what we call Gary's closet. They said that's where he would play and hide at. She was brought back up here after the fire where she laid two to three days. And then we were told that Dr. John administered a dose of morphine causing her to pass on uh, uh, because he viewed her as damaged goods, not wanting her to ruin his reputation. What? All these dolls in here have been donated to Rachel. Um, she's kind of the star of the house. These balls on the bed, she does love to hit these balls off the bed. We've also had cameras on these and seen handprints pressed down. I've got a feeling I'm gonna cry on this one, mate. I've got a feeling I'm gonna cry on this one, okay? I can feel it. If they end up communicating to her, mate, and she says she's lonely or something like that, mate, I'm fu I'm breaking. She also loves to set these music boxes off in here, so you might hear those go off. This here is the nursery in here. It gets a little more ominous in here. Something was going on upstairs. He felt a gust of wind. He got to the second step. Something grabbed him by both of his ankles and pulled him down the whole flight of steps here. Uh, sending him to the hospital, uh, requiring eight stitches above his eye, and he's got scars on both arms. We've had people choked in this room, including myself. Run! So, like I said, it gets a little more ominous in this area here. So, what, what, like, what are you doing in there, man? Just here. The first time we were here, I was taking a picture in that. See, that's the thing. You got all this shit going on, and you've literally got a room in your house called the Seance Room. Okay? Can can you can you weigh this up? Okay? Shit's going on in your house, and you've got a Seance Room. Why would you be doing that shit, mate? Did you have a Seance Room before this this shit's happening? No, because obviously the the ghost was there for ages. Whatever, mate. But don't have a sales room. It's shit. Ask you just you just feeding it. You're fueling the fire, man. Right? Pretend it never. It's not there, mate. Pretend it's not there. Just tell it to f off. Diamond shaped mirror. I got what appeared to be a loud knocking again. Boy. Look. Do you hear that? Yeah, I fucking heard that, mate. Ghost is like, yeah, I I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. A six-year-old little boy, brown curly hair. You see his t-shirt outline. Everything in that mirror. Perfect picture. This loud growl, this gust of wind, and then like this blood curling scream all at once. And I jumped up, we all ran to the corner. It was like crawling real slow towards us the whole time. What, like the grudge? Are you having a laugh, mate? You've basically got the grudge bitch in your house. But after I left here and I went home, I was being held down by like dark shadows hovering above me in my bed fucking there shadow bastards so you've got you've got you've got fucking shadow bastards you've got the grudge bitch right you've got fucking goat man and dope man <laughs> fuck me mate hey you've got it's like the film 13 ghosts in here there with like this wicked grin on his face and i was being tormented at home and it took forever to 
get these things out of my house. I almost quit paranormal hunting at that point. Um, it took a year for me to even do it again. And then another girl that was with me that night, she actually quit and got out of it. And she was over a big Indiana chapter. She said she can't unhear what she heard that night. So she actually quit. So this place has almost made you quit. Yes. Yes. Although most oh, she's actually an investigator, mate, right? Okay. So she's like, yeah, I'm going to do it again. This location <laughs> shy away from using Ouija boards and conducting seances. This what, 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 what's that, mate? Sorry? Most locations shy away from using Ouija boards and conducting seances. This is a welcome practice at Whispers Estate. We have honestly never been to a location with so many Ouija boards and seance rooms. So this is the area that people do seances. Oh, my God, mate. It looks freaky as fuck in there, doesn't it? Hey, that low ass table, okay? Fucking mirror behind you, right? Going into the the depths of hell or something. Like, like what the fuck, mate? Imagine, imagine investigating in there. Imagine me going in there, mate, and investigating. All right, me and Mace. <sighs> I'd fucking Rambo it. Seances all over the house, um, basement up here they'll do it all over the house we built a mirror what a mirrored room we call the oculus room i know you don't think those things conjure up bad things but no my, i'm not saying they don't my, my experience is those are very bad at i'm yeah. not saying they don't i've been using them for a long time i've just not yeah look what's happened to you mate i had nothing bad happen oh really doesn't sound like it <laughs> so a lot of times we will get people on each side of the bed here and we will ask whatever's in this room to even shake this floor and it will start vibrating in here like an earthquake because it gets really crazy up here when we're doing this. Something will actually slide their chairs um, across the room and knock them backwards. We had a security officer, he was a non-believer and he was sitting on the couch over there and something bit his arm. I was up here when it happened and it chomped down on his arm and it was bigger than a human bite. This whole upstairs is known for the man in the attic. Uh, he says, get out in your ear. Um, you can hear it in EVPs as well as audible. It's like a real deep, uh, deep Bloody hell, mate. kind of voice. Later tonight, during our investigation, we will document a creepy disembodied voice in this exact area. This is the Oculus room. It's made for one person. Virtual reality. Basically to go in here, uh, come in here and sit in the dark or they'll use just a little dim lighting in here or like a candle, a flickering candle or something. And then they'll call the- <laughs> Right, sweetheart, right, listen, okay. If you're watching this, just take a little look at what you've built there, okay? Just take a little look at what you've built there, love. A seance room with Ouija boards, with mirrors everywhere, left, right, center, willy nilly. Look at the shit what you're making, mate. And you wonder why you're getting strangled, bitten, scratched, right? Stop making that weird shit, love spirit in here he was exiting the bathtub and he slipped fell broke his neck and he laid there for about a week before anybody found him in the what the of back in the day this used to be we were told by the story and this used to be the morgue back in the day it didn't have to be that big because he didn't have to hold the bodies here that long the door i was telling you about to the operating room this was it so he could have took the bodies and put them here or go out the back door. Right now we're at Whispers Estate in Indiana. This is one location that we really wanted to get to over the years. Yeah. And we finally got the opportunity to get out here and investigate. During the interview, we were hearing loud bangs, walking up here on the second floor. Sean and I were doing a setup and this door opened up. So we put a camera back on it, shut the door, went and finished setting up the alarms and stuff came back and that door was open again. Run! So 
So we're gonna start up here in this room on the second floor. And this is the area that she does not like coming to. So at nighttime, she stays on the first floor. She wanted to come up here. And there's been several people attacked on the second and third floor. He must be shitting bricks right now, mate. Right? Look at you shitting bricks right now, mate. Doing this, mate. Scratches, bites, choked. Just the room over is the little girl that died here in a fire. They brought her up here to that bedroom and they ended up giving her morphine until she passed away. My name's Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We're here to communicate with you tonight. Earlier, it well, sounded like it. I thought it sounded like it came from that closet. That door's opened a couple times since we've been here. Can you open that door for us again, please? Do it again! I've got a device right here. If you get close to me, you can light this up. When we tried to communicate with you earlier, you said that you were here and that you were going to talk to us. Give us a sign of your presence. I'm going to stand by this door. Alarm inside the closet activated. Now, should that alarm go off with us? Inside, it's inside. Oh, See, this is what I mean about this channel, right? And I don't know why. I don't know why I stopped reacting to it. I think it must be those things when I get caught up in other channels and stuff like that. And uh, what is, but this is this channel. It's something about this channel which I really like because it's it's very raw first of all the production is fantastic you know like all the drone footage and everything like that and um they've got a very good way like whoever edits it I, i'm pre I, I assume it's him um it's the tempo is very good it keeps you gripped all the way through it and um the other thing I've noticed about this channel as well, they continuously debunk themselves throughout, okay? So if they hear a noise, they try to they try to make it happen again and things like that. And there's no bells and whistles, there's no like over exaggeration. They are literally it, it seems like they are legitimately not trying to make a YouTube video. They are legitimately trying to investigate the paranormal, which I really respect. I really respect these guys. They're very humble. They they obviously have a passion for what they do. Fucking love it, mate. Gap underneath the board or under the door. But you set our alarm off in this closet. What the hell is that? Is that back there with you, Rocky? Well, I don't know. I was just here with piston chaps. But did you hear that? Something goes, ooh. Who's in this closet? Hit the door and open it for us, please. It was like I heard a... You're, you're fucking having a laugh, mate. You're fucking having... No way! Did you hear that shit? Listen! Listen, shush, shush, shush! Listen, shush! It was like I heard a kid. Did you that 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 sounded like a toy? Your kid? Yeah, that's what I heard earlier. Yeah, that's what I heard earlier. Yeah, that's what I heard earlier. I heard I heard like uh, uh. Whoa. What? So I get right here. Holy mac and holy. What the fuck? Mate, this is what I'm saying, mate! This fucking channel's brilliant! It 
there's like a cold breeze on my neck. What's behind me? Stairwell. <gasps> Tapping. He's in the fucking this zone, isn't he? He's like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> this is where the little girl died. Shh. Shh. If my memory serves me correctly, the Rocky's... The little girl who passed away in this house. Rocky's usually the one that gets fucking hit and attacked and, and told to go somewhere spooky and stuff, and he always shits himself. My name is Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. We are three brothers from Ohio. Do you know where that's at? Yeah, man! <laughs> Mate, I was shit myself! It's weird because this house, like the first floor is creepy. Second floor, you're feeling this way. Third floor is off the hook. It's like it's got different levels. Yeah. That breeze on my neck's getting colder. They say that you move balls and stuff and set these bears off, these dolls off in this room. Can you do that for us, please? Knock one of those balls off that bed. Come on! Come on, let's play ball! You had a little girl dying here. You had another guy die in this bathroom right here. Oh, he's on the hey, he fell out and I think he broke his neck. Yeah. Broke his neck and then um, he laid in there for a week before they found his body. <sighs> okay, we've got cameras on that closet, and we've got cameras in there. If you guys want to do something for us, we would appreciate it. The gentleman that died in this bathroom. I got to get myself one of these things. These look fucking brilliant. I'm gonna set this alarm. I'm gonna set this alarm by the tub. Did you die in this bathroom? We need you to communicate with us. It's going to kick off, mate. They said that you like communicating with the investigators that come inside this house. That you feed off of our energy. This is going to go mental in a minute. We want to communicate with you. I don't think one of those is upstairs. That's the creepy part upstairs. This is the area where the guy got the stitches. Let's start in that Ouija board. Third right? floor, mate. Third. They go to the third floor. <laughs> they go to the third floor. Let's go. Mate, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, well, not, not yet, watch the fucking thing first, okay? And then go over there and subscribe. Right, you need to. Which one was it right here? All the way to the right. Can you move this right here? Oh, while I'm shit. Let me know you're here with us. Look in the mirror as well. See a face or something. Brothers. Josh gets scared the most. If you're here, can you move that, please? Come on! Are you here? Yes or no? Can you tell me what your name is? Walk him. Oh shit, which I, right, out of all the places to sit in that fucking room, I ain't sitting there, mate. <laughs> no fucking way. It's a creepy feeling that when you're sitting here holding that. Can you tell me what 
tell you what my name is. Do you not like me touching this? That's what she said. Give us a sign of your presence. Oh, fuck me. You've done it now, mate. We want you to come forward and talk to us. We are guests in your house. Tell us your name. Just imagine a face that pops up behind his bloody head there, mate. Are you touching Rocky? You see, Rocky, poor bastard. Imagine being a kid and coming up here and like having this as a little playroom. All by yourself. Screw that. <laughs> I would never move into a big old house like this. Yeah. They say that you move this bed, you can slide it or lift it or shake it. We call on the spirits inside this house. Yeah. Come in this room. Come on, this bed. Torment it a bit. Say, come on. This is your house, so why don't you prove us wrong? Yeah, fucking prove it, mate. Let's go. Right? Think you're odd. Hey? Think you're scary. Let's go. See, to me, the second floor felt creepier than this floor. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird. Thanks, so. Is there somebody in here with us? He's getting a chicken. Are you touching me? Can you scoot this bed a little bit for me? Let me know you're here. Mm -hmm. Can you go over by Josh? That's nice. Spirits. We call on you to come forth. And give us a sign of your presence. It's nice that they're all brothers, isn't it? I like that. We know this is your house. And we came to communicate with you. Does it feel like you're just, this is kind of like a vibration to it? Mm hmm Do you not like that we're all three together? Maybe go in on your own, mate. Go in there on your own. Do you not like our energy? Josh, you go set in there where you want to. Oh, hell no. Hey, man. yes. What? Are you freaking crazy? Oh, hell no. Yeah. Oh, you're fu- No fucking way, mate. No way. No way! No fucking way. Listen! There where you want to. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Are you freaking crazy? No, 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 no. Yeah, Rocky can sit in here, though. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Are you freaking crazy? Oh, hell no. Yeah. Bro, what? No, man. That's got to be one of them, isn't it? Are you freaking crazy? This is creepy in here. Even the audio is creepy. <sighs> okay, I'm inside the mirror room. The Oculus room. The mirrors are portals. This would be the best portal ever. Yeah. Can I see you, please? My name is Josh. What is your name? Josh. What? Just keep picturing that little girl while you're standing in, or staring into the mirror. I'm in here all by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Help him. Thanks, mate. 
People say that they see your face. It'd be a fucking awesome disco in there though, wouldn't it, right? And these mirrors. I want to see you. <gasps> Run! Was that you? Can you hit that again for me, please? Where are you? Oh shit in hell, mate. Okay. Imagine Sean in a mirror room. The little girl who died in the fire. I'm sorry what happened to you and that you passed away at such a young age in such a tragic way. Can you come in this room and communicate with me? Talk to me? I don't know, it's definitely a weird experience in here like this. Got the chicken, mate. Touch my arm. Yeah, I feel like something touched my arm. He's got the bloody chicken. I'm sorry, you want to check the batteries? That growl was like weird Gary. as shit. Hug. Hug. Who wants a hug? The girl, the little girl. Is it you, Rachel? If you come close to me, I'll give you a hug. Can you tell me who opens this closet door? Stay. We're not going anywhere. We're just changing out a battery. Harm. What's harm, mate? What's harm? Harm. Here. If we leave, will we be harmed? Start. Tap. Oh, I just started the camera. What the fuck? You're right. That door's open twice Start on this today. Who is opening that door? <laughs> Gary? Set our alarm off, please. That was weird. Where is it? It's in the closet. What the fuck? Right in front of me here. Come out! Sit the alarm off! Come Rachel, out! Rachel, are you up here? It's gonna go mental. Did you hear that in that closet? It's about to go mental, mate. I didn't hear that. Who's walking down the hallway? Oh shit. Rachel, we've got these balls here that they say that you move. We've got an alarm on Uncle. your- Uncle? Uncle. I almost think she said something. Why? Oh my god, mate. I just saw his fucking image there from the mi the mirror, the reflection. I thought it was a toy and it just fucking moved. I should shit myself. We've got this stuff here because it's new to you, maybe. And we wanted to bring you some new stuff so you could have fun and play. Rachel, did you die in a fire? Look. Look what? Where? Where? Rachel, do you have a lot of people coming in here trying to communicate with you and talk to you? And they bring you all these amazing gifts? Gosh. Where's the basement? That way. Let's go. 
Yeah, man, let's go to the fucking basement. Hey, we're gonna go to the basement. If anybody wants to go down there with us. Where are we? we Where are, are we? At Whispers Estate. Stop it. Fucking no, hell. We're going to the basement. She's like, don't go to the basement, please! Don't go to the basement! Oh shit, mate. Where the stairs? Oh. oh fuck! Oi! Oh god, mate. Downstairs, monster, mate. She said, don't. What did she say upstairs? Um, stop. And like, the fucking basement's padlocked. That's a f sure sign that something bad's down there, right? Holy shit, mate. Feeling. Let's go. You guys go first. No, go. Patient. Come on! What do you say? Patient. This is this is the morgue area. Listen. I'm listening. Listen. Is there a monster down here? Alone. Oh. Yes, I'm alone because those two jackasses are upstairs. That EVP's going off, mate. Where's the monster at that's down here? Behind you. Gary. Gary. What's that Gary's Gary's, Gary's closet? Yeah. yeah. Is Gary down here? Is that who that was? Something is behind you. Oh, oh fuck! Run! <laughs> they can't they shit themselves now. That was that was behind you, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. My leg. Film. We are filming. Oh, mate. I think it's back here. I know. I thought it I said, heard something. It said behind you. Though. Give me that, Sean. There's something back over here by me. I just hurt myself. <laughs> Can you tell me what I hurt? Gary, are you down here with us? Yes. Are you a friend? What should I do? Yes, I want to be your friend. Kathleen. Kathleen? What is that? Kathleen? That thing's going crazy down here. I know. It sounds like everybody's steps. Everyone's down here, mate. They're having a fucking a party down in the you're basement. down here, Gary. Can you make some kind of noise and let me know you're here? Serpent. Oh, it did? Yeah, it used down there. Because people have seen serpents in here before. Oh, I can believe it. Oh, shit. Look at the light went right by your. Uh, oh, waist. was that like a previous moment when they first got there or something like that? Sean. Rachel, are you in here? True. True. Anybody's upstairs, can you come down here? Was it not safe for us to go to the basement? Could turn it up a little bit. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. That's a freaking full sentence. I'm gonna go to the third floor. How did I die? How did I die? In a fire? In a fire? If this is Rachel. Hello. Hello. You didn't open that door again. Does anybody in this room with us? Can you tell me your name? Stuck in closet. No. Did it what say is that? in front of me? Admit, mate, fuck me. A Ouija board? Jesus Christ. Hang on a second. In a fire. In a fire. If this is Rachel. Hello. Hello. You didn't open that door again. 
open that door again. Can you tell me your name? What is in front of me? Sort of. Mm, I don't know, man. It's like. Uh, have you seen that that video on TikTok where it goes, and it says, "You will hear what you're reading," and it's got like orange or needle, and and then it goes, and you, if you're reading orange, you can hear orange. If you're reading needle, you can hear. Is it one of those things? Uh, so, Rachel, can you hear us? I heard some of it. But I didn't hear that. Gary, can you hear us? I heard wonderful. Where are you at right now? I heard the hears you. You said you were going to communicate with us earlier. Hey, I've got an alarm here on the Ouija board. If you come close to it, you can set our alarm off. People have been attacked and people have heard you in here. So I feel like this room feels fine. Do you feel creepy in here? Nah. I think it's on the second floor. Mm -hmm. They seem more calm in there. Second floor definitely feels. In the basement. Yeah. And that, gla and that bloody mirror room. Second floor in the basement. Let's take this alarm to the second floor and see if we get anything. I wouldn't even go near that fucking oh. Ouija board, mate. Are you close to us? The store's open. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. That's still filming, right? For the second time tonight, we oh. document this door mysteriously opening on its own. What the hell? Is it like... Is it a draft and it's a really crappy door? Oh shit! Right, okay, that's the, that's the door. Did you get that? Yeah, heard something. Josh. What was? The door fucking just opened. <laughs> right here beside me. <coughs> Are you in here? If that door slams, mate. Gary, did you open one of these doors? Gary's in Dirty. here. Holy shit, mate. Where's he at? They had to. Gary, you in the closet? Doors unlocked. Oh my okay. god, mate. Can you, not, can you open the door? To try and make contact with Gary, what the fuck? I have decided to spend time alone inside Whispers Estate. Gary. Mate, you watch it. You're going to get fucking choked. My name's Josh. I know that you've opened that closet door several times. <clears throat> yeah, I heard a that voice. closet for me? Gary, we're going to be leaving soon. Continuing to hear knocking and tapping coming from Gary's closet, I decide to go into his closet and continue my investigation. Oh, mate. Mate, he is Rambo in this shit.
Oh, look. Oh, mate. You're in there, mate. You're in there now. You're doing it. Okay, I'm inside the closet now. It's a little bit colder in here. Gary. You set our alarm off and stuff inside this closet. Can you open that door for me? So there's no draft in there, mate. Because it's, it's a closet. There's no fucking draft in there. What? Surely you don't hang out in this closet. He might do, mate. It's toys and shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Of course, the minute I get in the closet, it's up. Yeah. Open this door. Why would it be in that closet? Anybody want to come in here and call her with me? It's freaking cold in this closet. Cold, yeah? Mate, he's rabbing with the shit out of this, mate. Fair shout to you. Oh, fucking hell, look at you. Hello, Mr. Spirits. <laughs> My name is Gary. You want to play with me? Want to play? It's crazy how cold it is in this closet. I'm freaking shaking. Yeah, you're probably shitting it as well, Gary, mate. Gary, why do you hang out in this closet? You got this whole freaking house. Makes no sense that you would hang out in a closet. Open that door so I can get out of here. Come on. Rachel, somebody open that door, please. Mate, if that door opens, what was that? Before leaving tonight, I attempt to debunk the door opening. Uh-huh. Okay. So he's banged it? See, what I'm saying about it is debunking shit, mate. I like it. I can say now, I honestly have no logical explanation for why this door opens on its own. Can you hit that bell inside the closet for us? May. Sean, go sit in there. Where? Inside <laughs> this closet. If you guys leave. Now, fuck you, man! Just boom in there and close the door. Oh my god, it's cold as hell. Wait a minute, hold on. There's the bell. <laughs> it was a lock on there hey, as well. Sean's inside the closet. They said that you mess with investigators that go in there. Can you do some of that bell and hit it? Oh, that bell, right, okay. Can you do some? Let me know you're in here. To be fair, it might be cold because of that fucking great hole in the roof there. Please move this bell for me. You guys moving? No. But it's almost like a bell's like turning a little bit. But I mean, it could be. Are you still there? Yeah. <laughs> Josh. 
don't freaking do that. <laughs> you give me a sign, let me know you're here. I got tapping. Is there walking out there? Somebody say door. He's freaking out, mate. I think something's back here behind me. Yeah, he's freaking out. He's paranoia. It's, it's, it's snowballing. Yeah, something. Uh, okay. Hey, hold on. What? Josh, go in there and set. Just go in there and set. I swear, fucking, you'll start hearing all kinds of but what, he, he was. Maybe they open that other door. Do what? Maybe they open that other door. Cam inside the closet. They said that you've attacked investigators. I don't want you to attack me. I just want you to validate to me that you're in here. Can you hit that bell? Or we'll scratch the wall, knock on the door. It's like I hear breathing. Something's gonna go on, mate. Something's gonna happen here. Are you breathing behind me? Oh shit in hell. Sean, this bell is like going crazy. What? What? He didn't move. No, you didn't. You didn't move fast, shit. Is it moving like side to side, kind of like in a circular motion? Mm-hmm. That's what I could have swore I seen. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, like that's what I thought. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. After spending the night inside Whispers oh, Estate, right. we can see why so many people gravitate towards this location. We hope to make it back out to Whispers Estate in the future for further investigations. Get the merch at kespersite.com. Just Rambo it. There you go. That was Paranormal Nightmare TV series, mate. Absolutely bloody brilliant. I'm going to be watching more of these without a shadow of a doubt, mate. They're absolutely amazing. Like I said in the middle of the video, just really humble, uh, great production, just just proper raw investigation, mate. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, how about leaving a little like? And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.